So hi, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Susana Medina. Remember to hit the subscribe button for me, please. So I just came because I really wanted to show y'all something that I bought, which like I was like super excited when it came out. Since it came out, I kept reposting and reposting on Instagram. So I couldn't say no because it's something that came out when I was a little girl. So it's like a really good childhood memory. Let me stop blubbering and just show y'all what I bought. When y'all see y'all are gonna be like, oh my God, you bought it. But I had to, I couldn't say no. I couldn't let it pass. So yes, I bought the Beetlejuice Milk Cosmetics um, PR box. It, It's like, oh my God, it's so awesome. It looks like that when you open it. Isn't that cool? Super, super cool. And then the bottom opens as well and it comes with a mirror and brushes and a bag, which I, I love. So I actually did this look with the products that I have here. Um, I used actually this palette right here, the Recently Deceased from Milk Cosmetics. It, it just caught my eye. Like this is what I mainly wanted. Like, hello, the color is like, Look at me, buy me. So another cool thing is that when you open it, it comes with these little movie posters. The mirror is awesome as well. Um, but these colors, like how can you not want this palette? Um, if you've never owned any of Milk Cosmetics palettes and you wanna try something new, something different, this, this collection is like, oh my God, to die for. This palette, the other palette, Everything is just so beautiful. I just had to have it all. And I feel like for everything, it was such a good price, like $350 for the whole PR box. It comes with two palettes, three eyeliners, gel, gel liners, three liquid lipsticks, I'm wearing one, three lipsticks, a mascara, an eyelash curler, a mirror, which, girl, this mirror is so adorable. It has little Lydia's all over. It's super cute and I feel like the size of the mirror itself is like super, it's small. So it's like really, really good to record with this fat, with this mirror because it's small and I like to have the mirror like right in my face when I'm doing my cut creases or whatever. But this look, I used everything from here and tell me this look does not look bomb. like. Look at how pretty that looks. These lashes, girl, these, I, I love how my makeup turned out. Okay, so what I can say about this collection, the colors are bomb. The colors, they blend so well, at least from this palette. I have yet to do a look with the other one, but don't worry, that'll be on my next YouTube video. We'll be doing a look with the other palette and I'll show off that one. Um, but the, the eyeshadows, they blend so nicely. They're so creamy, so blendable. The matte ones, they're not drying at all on the eyes. If you swatch it, yeah, they feel a little dry, but it's the fingers, like it's different when you apply it on and with your brushes, they blend really nicely. So the eyeshadows, uh, they're like a big hundred for me. The liquid lipstick I'm wearing is, which one is this one? It's weirder and weirder. It looks like that. It's like a really dark, a really dark purple with maybe like some blue and pink glitter flecks. Super nice. I felt like it looked, it completed this look like perfectly. It, I don't know, I just loved it. Um, these, they're, they're matte, they dry matte, but they're not drying to where your lips feel like they're dry, if you get me. They're really comfortable on the lips. I like them. They don't feel grainy because of the glitters. Some I've had some liquid lipsticks where they have glitter and they feel grainy. No, these don't feel anything like that. So these are a hundred for me too. The eyeliners. Now the eyeliners, I did use two. They come with three. Let me show you the three. There is the gray one, which is 125 years, which looks like that. And then the Utterly Alone, this one is a pigment paint. And then the other gel liner is the Afterlife. Look at this, this color, it's like baby poop. I don't know, it's just, it's a weird color, but a really badass color, like it's super nice. Now, 
I love this one. It glided on really nicely. I actually tried this look yesterday and I did my cut crease not with a primer base but with this and I don't recommend it. It kind of cracked but because of how I applied it and everything. So I wouldn't recommend it using as a like as a base. But as an eyeliner, yes, it's like a, a really good eyeliner. I actually used it in my waterline in the front. This one, the pigment paint, okay, so like, I like it, I love it, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, how can you not like that? The only thing is, it, it is, it dries too quick, which I mean, you want in an eyeliner, but it's, it dries too quick to where you can't work with it. So I would recommend like uh, maybe the Inglot Duraline or the Mario uh, drops, which I'm actually getting in the mail, so I can't wait. So I could play around more with that. But like, that's the only thing that I have negative to say about this because the color is beautiful. The They do work. It's just like you have to work really, really quick with this one. Um, the lipsticks, which... The lipsticks are so cute. Like, I can't. I did try on one, which was Ghost with the Most. Super cute. Like, the engraving is is just awesome. Like, you can see the... What was what was it called? The worm? Sandworm. The sandworm, yeah. They have... he put They put sandworms on the lipstick itself, which is so cute. I don't even want to use lipsticks because, like, I don't want to mess it up. But... They're really dry, like, I don't know if they're meant to be that matte because I do own Milk Cosmetics lipsticks and they're really, they glide on really nicely. Um, they're really, really dry to where you cannot like go like that. You know how when you do that to transfer the lip to make it a little bit more easier? With you, you can't really do that. Well, at least not with this one because it's like super, super matte. But it's not a bad thing, like, Having a matte lipstick to where you know it won't come off or it won't budge, it's actually a good thing. It's just a little bit hard to apply because it's super dry. So you have to like have your, you, if you have chapped lips, girl, these lipsticks are not for you because like they're going to show the crackiness on the lips. So that's maybe one thing. I mean, I don't mind it, but for anybody that has dry lips and does mine, then I wouldn't recommend the lipsticks for you. Um, maybe the liquid lipsticks, just exfoliate your lips maybe, but everything else is super cute. Now, I don't have lashes personally, so I cannot use the other two products, but since I do do makeup on the side, I, like, I really needed a curling one. No, not a curling one, what is this? A curler. I really needed a curler because I do makeup on the side. I personally won't use it because I don't have lashes myself, like, when I say I don't have lashes, I really mean I have no lashes because I've gotten customers where like, I don't have lashes and they have lashes. They're just really tiny. Now, I have no lashes at all because of my alopecia. But like I said, since I do makeup on the side, I needed a lash curler. And this one is just, it's red. It's super pretty. And it has like melt and it has a heart. And it has beetle juice like it's super cute so this one it's gonna come in handy for me and the mascara it's black it's not waterproof but it's it's so cute like the sandworm is on there super nice so i can't wait to try these two on my clients like on myself i won't and then um the brushes i'm i'm dying to try the brushes but i don't want to try them because they're just so pretty i don't want to mess them up I'm gonna show y'all one. They are super adorable. They're black, they're half and half black and white. And then on the one itself, it's Miss Lydia dancing. Super, super cute, like at the end of the movie. I love that. I like, I can't. It comes with one, two, three, four, five brushes. And they all look the same. They're all half and half white, half black, and they have the Lydia on like on the wand dancing. I think it's the cutest thing. It's the bag because it's it's supposed to be a bag for your brushes, but I wouldn't even use it for that. It looks more like a clutch, which that's why I like it so much, but it looks like that. It's all black. It has the sandworm on it. It's like a faux leather or it is leather. 
and it looks like that and then it has the little melt little chain in here and it has the Beetlejuice colors which is super cute and it looks like that super nice this this is a super super cute for when you want to go out on a day night or whatever or whatever like honestly whatever but the whole collection I really loved I like right when I saw it I had to get it it's the cutest thing and if you grew up what I'm from 1985 this the movie came out in what the 90s early 90s maybe late 80s so this is like my childhood right here so when I saw it I was like I need this like ASAP so when it came out bet your ass I bought it I bought all of it <laughs> so that is like my highlight of the year of 2020 one of my highlights of the year it's one of my Christmas gifts from me and my husband because he's paying half, um, which he won't let me forget. So yeah, I'm gonna include some swatches in the video, um, more up close visuals of everything that we all can see. So if you wanna see how I did this eye look, keep on watching because remember, it's showtime.
<laughs> um, I'm stuck. And I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Hold on, let me think. <laughs> Uh, okay, cosmetics so palettes, and you want to try one, you should <laughs> mirror away. <laughs> I'm in the background. <laughs> Covering the knee place. Oh, my eye. So if you want to see how I did this look, keep watching. Stay tuned.